Thank you very much, Mr. Riyad, for the nice introduction. And thank you very much for the organizers for the kind invitation. I'm really uh, humbled and honored by uh, such an invitation. And congratulations to, especially to my friend uh, Yusuf for the success of this uh, virtual edition of IRSEC. Uh, uh, without any further ado, I will share my screen if you uh, allow me. And please tell me if you see your, your, you see my screen. Yeah, sure. I will go into full mode. Uh, you still uh, uh, see my screen? Yes. Thank you very much. Perfect. So uh, uh, to be short, just two words uh, on, on ERSN, you already know, but some uh, some people from the uh, uh, 20 hundred approximately participants currently that uh, don't know ERSN, we are a research center under the umbrella of the Ministry of Energy, and we play uh, two roles. Uh, one is uh, the uh, uh, being a sort of funding agency for uh, uh, projects on on clean tech, clean technologies, and also uh, an, a catalyzer uh, for the um, uh, uh, for for the uh, 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 establishment of a network of applied uh, research facilities such as the the green uh, energy park and green smart building park in Bengali, but I will speak about this later. Uh, why we are talking about this issue, uh, power to X? Uh, it's mainly the pitch is mainly because the uh, uh, LSOE, uh, the LSOE, the um, levelized cost of electricity are really getting to very world record levels. Uh, here you have some water uh, recalls levels uh, uh, in, in, in some areas for both PV and wind. We see now that the lowest is Portugal. This is what uh, my, my colleague and friend Mohamed Bernano was speaking about as uh, potential competitors. Uh, Morocco are still a little bit high, but please uh, uh, have in mind that this is uh, figures of 2015 and 26. We, uh, we didn't have any uh, new PPA signed uh, from then, but we believe that we have already reached in Morocco the levels of two uh, cents per kilowatt hour, which is really good. Uh, the, the cost of the, the, the electricity accounts for approximately 60 to 70 uh, percent of the cost of the kilogram of hydrogen or the kilogram of ammonia. So this is really a big or substantial uh, contribution to the to the cost, and we need to uh, to reduce this uh, cost first. And Morocco has really a great potential. Solar, PV, and wind; those are the main technologies that will take uh, the, 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 P, uh, the PTX or the power to X industry uh, further. Uh, here we have some, some figures that uh, has been established uh, from in-house data in ERSN, uh, estimating around uh, 50,000 terawatt hour of uh, photovoltaic and around uh, 11,000 terawatt hour of wind onshore. And here you have the estimation of the offshore by the World Bank that has been published uh, this summer. Uh, uh, besides, uh, to this high renewable potential, we have uh, other, let's say, arguments mm -hmm. uh, in Morocco uh, concerning really a positive contest, uh, context, sorry, uh, it's, and it's also a contest as well. Uh, so uh, this contest, uh, context, sorry, has uh, been, uh, I mean, has witnessed the production or the deployment of large-scale renewable power plants, which is really uh, a very uh, uh, nice achievement for a country like Morocco. We are strengthening even more our political uh, support and, and the relationship with uh, European Union, mainly where, where the most, uh, as uh, my colleague uh, Sivernano said, uh, most clients or off-takers of those uh, green molecules are in, in Europe. We have also a growing interest and, uh, and uh, growing infrastructure uh, in terms of R&D and capacity building. Uh, involvement also of big industry like OCP in the sector uh, uh, as the uh, a big off taker of ammonia, so uh, he is really uh, supporting R and D activities uh, in order to foresee what would be the potential uh, of implementation or scale up in in Morocco as a as a domestic market for uh, green ammonia, and of course the uh, very strong connectivity and proximity with Europe, uh, both uh, in terms of gas grid and electricity. So uh, uh, I won't insist in, on this, but uh, Morocco has been also identified in 2018 as a one of hyped uh, potential countries uh, with the renewables and can deliver very low cost uh, uh, hydro, green hydrogen and, and, and green ammonia. Uh, and uh, uh, since then, we have, uh, uh, with the support of the Ministry and also the Ministry of Energy and Environment and also uh, so, uh, support of GIZ, especially the program 
Buran Parema, uh, uh, we have taken in charge many uh, studies, three of them. Uh, and uh, uh, the third ongoing study is about uh, establishing a roadmap uh, for power to x in Morocco by 2050. We have already uh, a, co a commission national uh, sur l'hydrogène vert uh, uh, that was created back in 2019. And last but not least, we have signed a very interesting and important, uh, I would say even strategic uh, MOU uh, between Morocco and Germany uh, back in June 2020 with two uh, with the support of the, uh, the federal uh, German government to uh, two projects, one uh, deployment of a green uh, hydrogen application platform, green H2A, and also uh, an industrial uh, reference project uh, supported by, by, by Mazen. So uh, uh, this roadmap is not still published, but these are the main uh, uh, big lines, let's say, of the orientations we uh, foresee uh, as, a, as a first application in the short term industry feedstock, mainly ammonia, but also hydrogen for uh, the domestic market, but also mainly the export and the ratio that we believe in the short term would be around 30% to uh, uh, domestic uses, uh, 20 to 30% to domestic uses, and uh, 80 to 70 to 80 percent about exports and other application may uh, arrive later on in the midterm or long term, especially for the heavy mining trucks uh, or mobility. Uh, uh, and also the application for maritime can be also seen as a, as a longer term, especially also with the uh, uh, passenger vehicle application and this industrial heat. For the exports, main molecules are uh, uh, ammonia, uh, uh, methanol, synthetic fuel, and hydrogen, and the, the vector will be to, to identify, uh, but uh, uh, I would like to insist the importance of the exports. So uh, as Sim uh, Mohammed said, it's, uh, it's a need to, to, to establish uh, further studies about the market uh, on, uh, of those uh, green molecules in the future. Some action plan that has been uh, foreseen, but I will I will I will skip this slide given the time sl uh, slot. But I would be very uh, happy to to foresee uh, further discussion with the participants. So uh, uh, what we are doing to re reduce this cost and also implement a local industry in in our country, uh, uh, we are promoting, as I said, uh, a national network of uh, R and D platform, and this is the third uh, comer. Com uh, Cover now the green H2A, green hydrogen, and application platform foreseen to start next year. Uh, that will be dedicated to green hydrogen and green molecules and also their applications. The idea is to be a, a bridge between the academia, university, uh, research, and the industry uh, uh, and the market as well. So uh, this is uh, to to bridge uh, how, uh, the Death Valley in terms of uh, of innovation, innovation, innovation. Sorry. Uh, um, uh, term uh, and uh, the this is a kind of layout that how how we see this uh, this platform uh, with uh, with indoor labs dedicated to separated or uh, several activities uh, yeah from uh, uh, fuel cells uh, electro electrolysis combustion of uh, green molecules water splitting which is really nice subject and I'm really happy to to be uh, with the, in the panel with the, such prestigious uh, experts on this uh, on this subject and also but also having uh, an outdoor uh, uh, open sky lab uh, with 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 uh, with pilot units and demonstration units dedicated to this green uh, uh, chemistry uh, to to foresee or to to compare technologies of electrolysis uh, the downstream about synthesis of uh, green ammonia green methanol uh, power to liquid or synthesized let's say or synthetic fuels and also other other applications uh, from mobility and uh, and and combustion uh, uh, and also water water splitting uh, the idea is also to intervene in the multiple uh, elements of the value chain from the production of electricity uh, green electricity which is really important because here we need to hybridize uh, at an optimal way pv and and wind uh, carbon capture applications etc 
And uh, here uh, uh, I would present in two or three slides the, the expertise that we are developing within our this uh, our uh, core uh, lab uh, of Green H2A with my colleagues. We are concentrating, as I said, in the app to, uh, on the upstream about uh, uh, having uh, an optimal an optimal uh, hybridization between PV and uh, and uh, and the wind. Uh, focus also in this critical uh, uh, element of the value chain, the electrolysis, and also target tackling the downstream uh, uh, green chemistry uh, conversion, but also uh, uh, green molecules uh, applications. So here we have uh, some in-house models uh, in the whole uh, chain value from, as I told you, uh, the uh, establishment of a uh, uh, optimized models integrating PV and uh, and uh, and uh, and wind, some in-house model for electrolyzers, both PEM and alkaline SOFC uh, or high high temperature are still on the ongoing, uh, and also the downstream simulating of uh, uh, chemical processes uh, uh, um, on uh, here in, on ammonia and here on methanol, integrating variable electricity, so a variable uh, production of hydrogen, and here we have also a Establish some technical, uh, technical economic uh, assessments of uh, the production of uh, green hydrogen that I will show. Uh, still three slides for the moderator. I'm sorry, being pr pretty long. So yeah, this is an example of uh, a comparison between two sites, one to the north and one to the south of Morocco. Uh, here we have uh, what we call the LCOH. It's not probably a very uh, uh, relevant term, but uh, this is what we can what we can uh, name as the cost of hydrogen. And here you see that into the north, uh, south of Morocco, we have more uh, possibility to have lower prices with some optimal case uh, depending on the uh, maximum and mate load that we we ask the system to give us. Here, we, what is also really interesting, the contrast between the hybridization PV and uh, and uh, and uh, wind. Uh, here. Uh, one uh, one uh, uh, probably fifth of PV and uh, and uh, the the rest is uh, is 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 wind in the north south is uh, things are uh, quietly different one third approximately for wind and uh, two thirds for PV. Uh, uh, one of the, the, the two my two last slides. Uh, this is a. a um, uh, an illustration of the uh, load factor, the variability of the load factor of the electrolyzers in five uh, or in four uh, key moments of the year or the seasons. And here what is interesting to see is uh, the idea of having uh, low load, uh, load factors, especially during the, the night, which will help us also uh, uh, decide on the technology to use, for example, some technologies doesn't accept uh, low load factors so uh, and the variable electricity. So we need to be aware of uh, such a risk when we are thinking of uh, uh, large scale uh, investments and the uh, huge money or a huge uh, cap cap it, capex amount. This is also a variation of uh, the, uh, the the buffer of hydrogen, which is also a key element of the power to X. The, 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 the storage of hydrogen. Can you hear me, Samir? Correct. Can you hear me, Samir? Yes. Can you please conclude because you are three minutes above your allocated sorry, time? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, 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 I'm sorry about this. Yes, thank you very much. So this is a buffer of uh, to see the difference in the buffer of hydrogen depending on the 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 the, the month of the year and also to give the uh, um, approximate capacity to 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 target, which is also a cost uh, uh, costly element in the chain value in the value chain of uh, of green hydrogen. Uh, my conclusion, I'm coming to it, and sorry again for being long. Uh, the role of R&D uh, uh, and innovation in this, uh, uh, let's say, uh, endeavor is to support public policies re relatively to power to x in terms of uh, editing uh, norms, standards, and certifications. Uh, having a uh, possibility to examine technologies on the local uh, uh, context uh, uh, via pilots and demo units, support industry and private sector by uh, helping in uh, uh, pre-feasibility studies, technical assistance, etc., both Moroccan and international. And last but not, not least, uh, which is really key, uh, qualification of uh, uh, high uh, uh, and competitive uh, ca human capital via training and capacity building. 
Thank you again. I would like to thank my, my team and my colleagues within Inerzen that have helped support this work and continuous work and invite you to our uh, uh, digital event next, uh, next, uh, next uh, Tuesday, the World PTX Summit. Thank you very much for your time and sorry for being long. Thank you very much.